Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to fix no service on the AT&T BlackBerry Brief. This is for the uh, article number 00003853030. At first, it was published in September 20, 2016. Last modified day is today, is the election day, November 8, 2016. Environment if you are using an ATT network and you are using a BlackBerry Pre, and recent update to Android 6.0.0.1 Marshmallow I think we should blame it on the Google Marshmallow Android uh, operating system because uh, once they release uh, new updates a lot of people are experiencing a problem with their uh, LG phones Samsung overheating, restart issues, and now the BlackBerry has no service. Okay, so I think we should get a class action against uh, Google since they are making lots of money and now they are destroying all of our devices or smartphone or tablets. So the issue tracking is JI1603353. Overview on the status bar of the AT&T brief smartphone running on the AT&T network. The following message is displayed when it, in a good coverage area. No service. Okay. So uh, this instruction will follow, if you follow it, will solve your issue. BlackBerry is working with AT&T to expedite the release of the software fix that will resolve the issue, this issue. Please monitor this article for available updates. So right now if you walk around is the install BlackBerry no service prevention tool. To install the BlackBerry No Service Prevention Tool, complete the following instruction. Okay. One, first of all, you got to power on the phone and go to uh, your setting. Enable the installing installation from unknown source. To enable this, complete the following. You will navigate to your setting. Security. On the pre under device administration, enable unknown source or check it. If you have a box on the right hand side, make sure you check that. Then tap OK when presented with the warning message. Okay, and you want to use your pre and open your Google Chrome or Chrome app. And then you want to click here, okay? Uh, well, I would this I would uh, include a link of this uh, click here in on the description, okay? And you copy and paste that link to your uh, BlackBerry Pre, so you could. Uh, 
download it. So after that, a message would appear. Chrome needs storage access to download file. Select update permission. Okay, and after that, you tap allow. Then you tap OK with message. This type of file can harm your device. Do you want to keep LTECA bug fix dot APK anyway? Appears at the bottom of the screen. Please note, lookout security and antivirus may block the direct opening of the downloaded application. So make sure you guys disable if you guys have a third party uh, security or antivirus software, make sure you disable that for now when you try to uh, download. So once downloaded, select LTECA bug fix APK file from notification shade. Alternative, tap the download icon from the app drawer then select LTECA bug fix APK. And once you uh, open the file, you can tap to uh, install and then tap open. From within the BlackBerry No Service Prevention uh, tool, select the checkbox for I accept BlackBerry solution license agreement and you will be tap uh, enable no service prevention once a message the tool has been enabled successfully is displayed tap on install to pre to remove blackberry no service prevention tool as the fix has been applied it and uh, disable install Installation from unknown source to disable this complete the following navigate to uh, setting again on the security on your BlackBerry pre on the device administration disable or uncheck unknown source okay so hopefully this were a uh, tutorial will solve your no service uh, issues or problems the additional information down here okay this is intent for AT&T pre smartphone running on the AT&T network only so if you have a uh, Verizon or T-Mobile or a uh, Sprint you don't want to uh, install this uh, fix okay this application address no service issue related to issue ID JI1603353. AT&T Brief Smartphone Running External Beta Release Software version AAH505 contains a fix for issue ID JI1603353. In certain network environment, no service may still display it as expected so I think after all this uh, Android update for the marshmallow 6.0.1 is giving a lot of user or customers or subscriber lots of headache and problem with their devices So we should uh, blame uh, Google for uh, this update causing a lot of problems and headaches for everybody and uh, hopefully they come up with a fix soon so we will not have uh, overheating, restarting, rebooting uh, or boot loop issues with all the other devices or tablets so please uh, give a thumbs up and like this videos for uh, this uh, tutorial and uh, subscribe to our channel 
So you guys won't miss out any of the new and latest upcoming videos or unboxing, tutorial, DIY. Thank you for watching and uh, today is election day. Hopefully you go out there and vote. Peace.